Welcome to another three step to sketch for function transformations. So in this video, we will look at a function that is a transformation on a square function or the function y equals x squared. So specifically, we're looking at y equals negative one half x plus three squared minus one. And we will use our on the graph method to do this. Uh, remember, there are so many different ways that you can graph quadratic functions. We're particularly looking at it as a transformation of the parent function for, for our purposes right now. All right, so we are graphing, we have our equation, our outline for our three steps to sketch method, and our grid. So remember, we are graphing a transformation on our parent function, y equals x squared. That's our parent function. And now we can jump into our transformation analysis. So remember our horizontal transformations affect our x coordinates and they happen in with the x. So in that case, we see parentheses to mark that and to separate that as a horizontal transformation. And when we see x plus three, we also want to remember solving order is how we handle horizontal transformations. And all that means is we just need to think about it as if we were solving an equation, something like x plus three equals zero. What would you do to solve this? You would subtract three. And that's actually what we'll do for our transformation too. We're subtracting three from our x's or moving our graph three units to the left. So let's go ahead and make a note of that. We'll just move our graph left three or subtract three from our x's. All right, and that's our only horizontal transformation. So now on to vertical transformations. We know these affect the y's. We know that we should apply them in PEMDAS order. So um, if you have multiple, that will help you. And let's go ahead and look. We see we do have a negative one half out front and we also have a minus one at the end. Okay, so two transformations will multiply before we subtract. So let's deal with the negative one half first. When we multiply something by one half, it shrinks or compresses. So we have a compression by a factor of one half. And remember, a negative out front is a, um, an indication of a vertical reflection. So our graph should reflect over the x-axis. So what was a u? will become an upside down U. All right, so let's note that reflection in shorthand, Rx. Okay, and we know we are multiplying our y's times negative one half. That'll take care of both of those at the same time. It's a two for one. All right, and then secondly, we know that minus one tells us that we should be moving down one unit or just subtracting one from our y's. All right, so now we have our analysis and we're ready to move on to step two. Okay, so let's plot our parent function. So we know it's the u and we know that our three points closest to the origin are these three, negative one, one, zero, zero, and one, one. And now we can transform. And remember, it's really helpful to have several different colors so that you can have your intermediate graphs uh, marked very clearly and neatly. All right, so we'll do our first transformation in yellow and let's start with the horizontal left three. So just take each of your points, move them left three and mark that spot with a small x or a light x. This is our first intermediate graph. Okay, so simple enough, we've moved left three. All right, let's switch colors. Let's switch to green, okay? And now we're on to our vertical transformations. So we're working from our yellow intermediate graph and we want to multiply each of those y's times negative one half. Or a more visual way, visual way to think about it is to reflect and cut in half or cut in half and then reflect. You'll get the same point no matter which way you think about it. Okay, so starting with our leftmost point, the one that's currently at negative four one, we will cut that in half and reflect. So our point will end up right here. Okay, the one that's at negative three zero, well, that's on the x-axis, so doesn't make any change to cut it in half 
or too reflected, it just stays put. And then the final point, the one at negative two one, behaves a lot like our first one, um, but just for the sake of argument, let's reflect and then cut in half. And you see, you end up with the same result. All right, so we're done with that one. And now let's switch to red to finish our final transformation. Okay, so working from the green graph, we are ready to apply our final transformation. Just take away one from the y's or shift each of those down one. And since we know this is our final graph, we can go ahead and really move on to step three to darken our points. So darken those final points that you've shifted down one and sketch your graph. Easy enough. So this was graphing a transformation of a square function using three steps to sketch and the on the graph method.